Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and I apologize, I just woke up as I'm trying to click out all these crappy ads on YG Organization, y'all need to fix your website. Uh, Avery LR32 here, bringing you guys uh, a brand new video about this news that we got just the other day and this morning uh, in regards to uh, some new junk support. We've got some stuff from the new Duelist pack and of course the new Zark support. Honestly, I don't think the Zark support is that good if I'm being honest, but I could be wrong. Let's go ahead and go over the effect of this card, Junk Mail. It's a level one Earth Warrior Tuner effect monster with uh, 400 attack, 100 defense. You can always second effect of this card's name once per turn. A synchro monster that uses this card as material cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay. If this card's in your graveyard, you control a synchro monster whose original name includes Warrior, Synchron, or Stardust, except during the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. You can special soul summon this card, but banish if it leaves the field. Okay, it's a decent extender. Oh, and where are my manners? I am so terribly sorry. Destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that like and subscribe button. I have been seeing y'all killing it. Lord have mercy. Y'all y'all are the best. I mean, real talk. I, I come back from a couple days off, and we're at over 1,173 subscribers. That is what gets us hard in the morning, ladies and gentlemen. I really do appreciate all the support, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Where are my manners? My dumbass ain't even doing my intro right. So, next month's V-Jump promo. Combine the power of two might methods of fusion to reign over the future with absolute might. Uh, soup, literally super future polymerization over future fusion. For right now, let's go with Over Future Fusion or Super Over Future Fusion. That is the dumbest fucking name I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I think Konami phoned it in with that name. And of course, they're keeping the effect a secret. Uh, it's explained to be a fusion card meant to combine features of two cards that were consistently used in top tournament tier decks in the past. Based on the artwork and name, it's likely meant, but no hard confirmation reference, Future Fusion and Super Poly, or it could be Future Fusion and Overload Fusion. It does look like a, like a Future Fusion mixed with Super Poly. But, I mean, unless they're going to give it the original effect of Future Fusion before the errata, I don't think it's going to be that good. It's because Future Fusion, at least with the errata in 2023, is hot garbage. Next up, we have Volcanic Emission, uh, a.k.a. a burn card for my dad for his burn deck. So, uh, normal trap, activate one of these effects. Take one Volcanic Monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it, ignoring its summoning conditions. But return it to the hand during the end phase. You can cheat out Doomfire with this. That's pretty cute. Uh, target one pyro monster on the field. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to its original attack. If you control the targeted activation, the damage inflicted by this effect is halved. You can only use each effect of this card's name once per turn. No, you can't use Lava Golem with this. Lava Golem, I'm pretty sure, is a fiend. Unless, uh, I'm just totally wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's a fiend. Now, you can, however, use Volcanic Queen with this, because Volcanic Queen is like an old-school kaiju. You would give it to the opponent, and it's got like 2,500 attacks, so you could activate this and then do 2,500 burn damage. That does give Volcanics an in-house way to play a kaiju. I don't really know how good that's going to be once we get this new Volcanic support, but Volcanic Queen is like an old-school kaiju. I mean, I remember playing that back in the day to out Herald of Perfection when Herald of Perfection was being played. Shout out to our homie Valley D for playing fucking Herald of Perfection back in the day. I still have that deck profile from like 11 years ago on my channel. So... Uh, this is the second coming of the Dimensional Overlord, so this is the new Age of Overlord set reveal. Age of Overlord is going to be our set after Duelist Nexus, if I remember correctly. So we're talking months down the line, ladies and gentlemen. So if you want to play Zark, now is your chance to pick up the stuff for Zark if you want to play this deck. I personally think it's just going to be kind of garbage. I feel like playing straight Pendulum Magician is always just going to be better. So, uh, let's see here. So, the first card we have is Supreme King Gate Magician. Spellcaster Pendulum Effect, Light Level 7, 2500 Attack, 2000 Defense. Pendulum Effect. You can only use the second Pendulum Effect of this card's name once per turn. Supreme King Zark you control cannot be banished by your opponent's card effects. Okay. During your main phase, you can destroy this card. And if you do, place one Supreme King Gate Pendulum Monster from your hand or deck in your Pendulum Zone, except Gate Magician. Monster Effect. You can only use the first and second Monster Effect of this card's name once per turn. If you have a Supreme Gate... Your Supreme Gate card, other than Gate Magician in your Pendulum Zone, you can send one Pendulum Dragon, Exceeds Dragon, Synchro Dragon, or Fusion Dragon Monster from your hand or extra deck to the grave. And if you do, special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summon, you can add one card that mentions Zark from your deck to your hand, except a Spellcaster Monster. So the effect about it not being able to be banished is actually really interesting, because Zark already has an inherent effect where it can't be like targeted or destroyed by card effects. You can still Kaiju the fuck out of it. So it's kind of pointless that it can't be banished, because it's like, who cares? You're just going to Kaiju it. But, I mean, I guess it's a thing. 
Uh, Supreme King Dragon Light Worm. Dragon Pendulum Tuner Effect Light Level 4, 1200 Attack, 1800 Defense. Pendulum Effect, you can only use the Pendulum Effect this card thing once per turn. If a monster monster is a special summon and you control Zark and another Pendulum Monster, you can special summon this card, then you can choose one other Pendulum Monster you control, and the attribute and level of that monster or this card becomes the attribute and level of the other. So level modification, that's, that's pretty interesting. Jesus, all these fucking ads. Uh, monster effect. You can only use the first and second monster effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card's no more special summon, you can have one face up Supreme King Dragon or King Gate Pendulum Monster from your extra deck to your hand. Then immediately after this effect resolves, you can synchro or see some of one Supreme King Dragon Monster. That seems really fucking good. If a face up Pendulum Monster Monster is destroyed by battle by card effect, while well, this card's face up in your extra deck, you can add this card to your hand. Next up is Supreme Celestial King Odd Eyes Arc Ray Dragon. Jesus Christ. Dragon Fusion Pendulum Effect Monster. Light level 12. Attack and defense is 4,000 with a pendulum scale of 13. So pendulum effect, you can only use the pendulum effect of this card's name once per turn. If you have two cards in your pendulum zone, you can special summon this card. Then you can shuffle one card from your pendulum zone into the deck. Then if it's returned to your extra deck, you can special summon it, ignoring its summoning conditions. Monster effect, four dragon monsters, one fusion, one synchro, one exceeds one pendulum. This card is always treated as Supreme King's Arc. So keep this in mind. This has the aqua neos or twinkle moss whatever wording on it so if you want to play this zark deck keep this in mind in case you want to like invest in the deck you cannot play three copies of zark with three copies of this odd eyes arc ray dragon thing because its name is always treated as supreme king zark so like you could play two of the original zark and one of this or vice versa if you want to play both also i don't know why the pictures are showing up um, I see where, like, there's little photo things here. Maybe they got taken down, but there should be photos here. Uh, but anyway, this face-down card in the extra deck must first be either Fusion Summon or Special Summon by treating one level 12 Dark Supreme King Zark. So they do intend for you to play the original to get out this new one. If this card is Special Summon from the extra deck, you can place one Pendulum Monster from your deck in your Pendulum Zone. If this card in the Monster Zone is destroyed, you can place it in your Pendulum Zone. I feel like if you get this out, you should be winning the ballgame anyway. But see, again, the problem is with Zark inherently, its initial effect, like the just regular Zark, like it can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. So you've got to pop it in battle, but you can Kaiju the fucker. So it's like, what's the point of all this support if you're not giving it like all of this protection, other than that one card where it says it can't be banished? Pendulum Involution, Continuous Spell. You can only use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can shuffle one Pendulum Monster from your hand into the deck, add one Pendulum Monster, 2500 attack, and a different name from your deck to your hand. If you special summon a face-down Pendulum Monster Monsters from your extra deck this turn, you can activate this effect immediately after it resolves Pendulum Summon of Monster Monsters. Giving you an additional Pendulum Summon is really good. But see, like, these cards are inherently good for Pendulum decks, but, like, no one, I don't feel like a lot of people would play them in a primarily Zark deck. You can target one against Supreme King Zark you control, can attack all opponent's monsters once each this turn. Again, if you drop out Zark, I feel like I'm winning the ballgame anyway. The Lightwing Dragon, quick play spell. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. During the main phase, add one Supreme King Dragon or Supreme King Gate Pendulum Monster from your deck to your hand. Or if you control Zark, you can special summon it instead. Okay. I mean, it's during either player's turn, I guess. Like, okay, cool. Miracle of the Supreme King, normal trap. If you control Zark, Activate one of these effects. Destroy one Zark you control, and if you do, special summon one Odd Eyes Pendulum Monster or one Light Supreme King Zark from your deck or extra deck, ignoring summoning conditions. Place one face-up Pendulum Monster from your extra deck in your Pendulum Zone. That's really good. Set one Quick Play spell directly from your deck so it can get you to the Light Wing Dragon, which is really funny. You can only use each effect of this card's name once per turn. So I feel like, also, the more I think about it, uh, if Zark can't be banished and something like Macro is up on the board, then yeah, I, I guess you technically can't Kaiju the card because it can't be banished. And the Zark deck could very well have a card that says, like, Zark can't be tributed. I just don't know that much about Zark other than just what the monster itself does. But again, I, I just feel like playing Zark isn't worth it when Pendulum just wants to put a bunch of negates on the board. Soul of the Supreme Celestial King, Normal Trap. You only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Tribute one Spellcaster Pendulum Monster with 2500 original attack. Fusion summon one Supreme King Zark from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials listed on it from your hand, deck, extra deck, field, and or grave, but its effects are negated unless least one each of your Pendulum Xyz, Synchro, and Fusion Dragon Monsters are currently banished. That seems like a lot of setup. Like, I'm just being honest. That that seems like way too much fucking setup. But guys, let me know what you think about all of this news down in the comments below. Is there something about Zark I'm missing? I just don't feel like this stuff's good. Like, why commit to a big-ass fucking fusion boss monster when you could just play Pendulum Magicians and shit out, like, 20 negates? Like, I know people don't like hearing that because, like, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh's changed forever. But it's like, that that's just how Pendulum plays, homie. Plus, I feel like without Electromite, the deck's just always going to be rogue at best. But guys, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you. 
in the next video.